Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me reading the comments um, in my comment section on my social media platforms. Now I won't only be reading negative comments because even though I do get a lot of negative comments, I get so much love. So yeah, so let's just get right into this video. Brace yourselves, girl. I am going to have commentary because the same way that you can comment on my post, I have the right to comment back as well and to clap back or smack back like I like to say. <laughs> yes, girl first started with the whole black fishing story on instagram i'm gonna actually go to my instagram and i'm gonna pull up the first post that i made about this whole black fishing topic and this was on november 7th so the day that i'm filming this video is november 29th exactly 22 days ago i was going ham on this topic all right so let's go to the comments now i did a collage of photos i posted one two three four four photos in each photo it was basically different girls on instagram who have been posing as black slash biracial mixed with black okay somebody said wait what you mean to tell me homegirl in the first pick isn't black slash biracial i don't think i follow her but i see her on my explore page all the time especially on black girl pages her highlight is always popping though wow i had no idea i was being bamboozled this whole time shaking my head Honestly, a lot of people in this post was telling me to tag them. Everybody was like, tag them, tag them, tag them. At this time, I was only following one girl. I didn't know the other girls. I, f I just was finding these people. Like, someone said, at the shade room, you better make this a story. I said, right, like, what are they waiting for? No, seriously. That's my thing with a lot of these blogs. It's like, they're more so invested in, social, in um, celebrity drama. But don't forget that there is a real world outside of just celebrity drama. Just saying. Someone says she turned her comments off. I said she thinks she's slick. Someone said thank you for talking about this. Then someone said you guys have a real messed up way of showing awareness. If this is so wrong, why instead of posting and nagging, why don't you address it with them directly? Dig into the issue? Don't you get my point? This is this isn't doing anything but getting women of both sides to go back and forth. You want a real change? Go ahead on with the source. But nah. This makes good IG posts, so you rather do it here, shaking my head. Yo, for real though, I followed you because I thought you was trying to make a difference. But this right here is just whack. Honestly, after she said nagging, I pretty much stopped reading. So I said nagging? <laughs> so someone else responded to this this girl in agreement with her and, and said this is the, this is an era of canceling where anything done that upsets a group means that they're just over and hate it it's 2018 we should be educating and spreading awareness not dividing i said i'm so glad for your sake emily this is the era of social media because talking talking shit that you have no clue about wouldn't have got you not <laughs> I gotta read that again. Hold on. I'm so glad for your sake, Emily. This is the era of social media. Can I get an amen? <laughs> because talking shit you have no clue about would have gotten you knocked out in a different era. So someone commented to Emily and said, honestly, we've been trying to educate y'all too much. And apparently, you guys still don't get it. When we speak up, people who aren't black try to shut us up. So... I like to comment. That was a good point. Someone said, whack, bringing attention to the perpetration of not only our culture, but our very own skin? That's whack. Honey, take several seats. She exposed them. They know what they're doing. Come on now. One has box braids. Wake up. <laughs> I cannot. So that one goes on and on and on. Um, but what I didn't understand about the initial comment is, me posting this on my platform that is me bringing awareness to something like I, I just don't get what more there is to understand about that 
me posting something on my platform brings awareness to it. If I was a newspaper editor, me posting something in a newspaper brings awareness to it. I could completely get it if we lived in a time where something like this was new. This is not new. Do you know what's new? Being called out for it. That's what's new. That's why she's saying, oh, we live in an era of canceling. Yeah, because guess what? Now we have the right to say, you know what? I don't like that. I'm not going to support that. What's wrong with the era of canceling if it's something that you genuinely don't support because it's genuinely not right? So now y'all mad because we live in an era where we could say, you know what? That don't sit right with me. I can't support that. Let's just get pulled over though. I said she'll change that emoji from a dark skin girl to a white girl. ASAP. And that's a fact. That's a fact. When being black is trending, oh, I'm black. But let, let an officer mistakenly think you're black, I can guarantee you. The first words out your mouth, I'm not black. I'm white. Look. Uh, no, this is spray tan. This is injection. I'm, I'm, these are box braids. This, this is, no, wait, 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 wait. So you could take your blackness off when, okay. All right, I'm just saying. I'm just asking. I'm just asking a question. Somebody said, white girls love us. I said, we love them too. I ain't never been mad at a Becky. Like, <laughs> we love them too. But we ain't accepting culture vultures. And that's a fact. I respect you and your culture. Please respect me and mine. Point blank period. It's not a race. It, oh, sorry. My phone is a little dusty. It's not a racist thing. It's not. This is really is just respect. Someone tagged the first girl that was in the photo, one of the photos. She said, um, at blank is the first girl. Could have sworn she was Dominican. Someone else said, I'm mad there's really people in the comments defending her. Someone said, thank you for talking about this. You're welcome. You should have added them because now I want to troll. I said, don't know. <laughs> I personally said, I said, it's sad when a woman of color will defend this while my white girls are just as upset as me. The white girls in my comments was mad. Like, what is she doing? This is not okay. Meanwhile, the black girls are like, so you wear weave, you wear this, you wear that. That's why, I, you know, I did my makeup, but I'm like, let me come on here foreseeing it out. We're going to foresee rock it out because I don't, I wear wigs. I love wigs. I, have, I don't see nothing wrong with wigs. White girls wear wigs. Black girls wear wigs. Boys wear wigs. Like, wigs are the future. <laughs> wigs are the future. But I love my natural hair. I'm embracing it and I'm learning it. It is a process. That's another topic though. So someone said, wait. You know you put that many A's, you know it's real. The first girl is white, white? I thought she was a tan Latino slash Hispanic girl. I follow her. Trash. Someone said, I stand with you, sis. They want to cash the royalties without the struggle. Yo, that was the realest one I read thus far. Cash the royalties without the struggle. Cash the royalties without the struggle. Cash the royalties. Cash the royalties. Cash the cash the cash. The. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Thanksgiving just passed, and that video will make me cry every time. It's so funny. Somebody said, "Nah, that last one really has me shook." The fuck? <laughs> I thought the first girl was black too because I've come across her page before. Someone else said, "Wait, what?" Someone else said, "There's so much I could say." but I'm gonna go to bed now that was the first post that post got 9,473 likes um after I posted that I started to dive deeper into this and I can honestly say with the help of with a lot of my followers because my dms are flooded with the FBI Instagram agents okay you know who you are you deserve a badge of honor okay move into the tanning industry and I just began to find different tanning pages and y'all I literally felt like I was in the movie get out caramel um the second one is mink third is original violet dark ash and then blue black when I saw blue black, I wanted to smack somebody's mama. Who, who, who condoned, who condoned? Oh, I posted this on my Instagram and then I said, um, and this was November 8th. I said, so you can pick how black you want to be? Wow. I did a couple videos on it. Fast forwarding. I'm still exposing tanning companies. But as if this wasn't insulting enough. Look at the damn names. Dark Ash, Blue Black, Caramel, 
Nah, fam. <sighs> Somebody said, I'm tuned in, girl, shaking my head. Someone else said, this is going too far. I just can't. Someone said, ain't this some bullshit? <laughs> oh, man. Said, even though it's racist, like, have they, have they never seen a blue black person? Their deepest shade is literally lighter than me. I'm screaming. If you're going to be racist, go all the way, man. Someone said, I found the shade for the girl sisters. You know what? You're not going to bring the proud family into this. Someone said, this is absurd. What the F goes on? goes through these people heads someone said what the hell i feel so ashamed for the white people being racist and ignorant for the one millionth time when will they ever learn and actually do better i feel so sorry this almost looks like one of the old white people biology books where they tried to put people into different races i can't believe it how can one be so fucked up somebody said nah this is crazy someone said yo but some latinos are dark too when did I ever say Latinos weren't dark? Okay. And we can look white. When did I say y'all? Okay. I think you gotta be careful on how you address this hot issue on social media. Completely hear you. And some is disgusting. And some girls just trying to look thinner. A fair Mexican but I like my tans too and skin cancer isn't a joke but there is a line especially with the hair some of these girls are pairing this but girl you're beautiful at the end of the day you can only embrace your beauty and hope it reflects onto other people and some bitches are dumb AF we gotta remember that stay humble thank you I will Someone said, just watch your video, girl. This is too crazy. I agree with everything you saying. My black skin is not a trend. Mm -hmm. Alright, next post. So then I found some, some other girls. <laughs> some other girls started surfacing, so I posted them asses too. I said, not a trend, not a costume, not up for debate. Link in bio. He said, y'all can have our men, but not our skin. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> Weak. And nah, this is nuts. Someone said, wait, they all white? And then someone else commented and said, yes. Others said, another person said, she's trying to look mixed, not black. When he said that, someone responded and said, mixed with what, you dodo bird? <laughs> that was hilarious. Someone said, the girl on the top left is a pic of, um, I'm not going to say her name, and she doesn't tan that dark. That pic looks photoshopped, honestly. I said, okay, good to know. I will take constructive criticism. If you if you follow someone and you know for a fact they don't perpetrate that and they're not part of that, let okay. Someone said, keep your foot on their neck, see Loho. You already know I said, maybe I'm too Nigerian to see the problem here. Did they fill forms lying about their ethnicity or just like to over tan their skin to look darker? Because I've seen so many Nigerian women bleach their skin to appear white. In fact, I've seen a couple here on Instagram selling whitening creams. And one even had the guts to say, my Caucasian skin. In other words, I just find it ridiculous when people, either black or white, deliberately do, do things to appear whiter or darker. So someone commented after that and said, yes, some were claiming to be biracial and accepting endorsements from natural hair companies. Someone else said assimilation is not appropriation. Assimilation is birth out of oppression. Appropriation is an attempt to, eat, to erase oppressed individuals. Preach. Also to note, anyone presenting themselves as black adjacent are getting them black adjacent checks. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a finance. Oh, let me like this comment, even though it was two weeks ago. That was real. But, oh my God, I thought the girl from the Little Mix was black. I don't know what the Little Mix is. I said, but dark skins use filters and makeup to look lighter. Bye. Someone, someone was, 
someone responded someone responded and said lies because makeup brands don't make enough shades that fit their complexion dummy why y'all think we were so hyped when Fenty came out thank you Rihanna okay said add Kylie Jenner and Kim to the list they want to be black women just don't darken their skin but it's the same basically so then I posted um I posted two I posted the same woman before her tan and after her tan I captioned I will never see this as okay link in bio oh my babes Yvonne the artist she's super talented like amazing I worked with her um, when she worked with Makeup Forever at Sephora and I always was inspired by her artistry and she's just such a beautiful person she said thank you for sharing I just watched your YouTube video and I honestly had no idea this was happening you're absolutely right to call it out thank you for sharing this and speaking candidly and honestly about choosing privilege we all need we all need rally we all need to rally around the truth and self-love Someone else said, how does one go to family events looking like another race? I don't understand. No, seriously, because if I went to a family event looking white, somebody's going to smack the white off of me. That's what's really going to happen. How do you go to your family events looking a different race? <laughs> That's so true. Like, I've never thought about that. Like, your family don't tell you, like, my family will side out the hell out of you and be like, my mom will be like, hello, come here. What, what are you doing to yourself? That, that can't fly. That cannot fly. But I thought this was two different people with the same tattoos. Then I realized, WTF? Someone said, how can people think it's okay? I don't know how people think it's okay, but they do. And they dragged me for it, so I don't know. All right, and then I, then I went on a break. I started posting my own selfies. I'm like, you know, I am cute too. Let me post myself on my page. I took a break from all the... I took a break from the activism. <sighs> just needed to woosa, like just get all of that bad energy away from me. And of course I find more. <laughs> this crazy to chick. To, Africa, to learn more about the cultures, to avoid misunderstandings. But you, and to, to but you, know about the cultures and the person stuff. Mm. But you understand that, that, that race and, and, and color is much more than skin deep. Uh, it's heritage and Absolutely. pedigree and tradition and history and, 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 and struggle. It's all of those things that you can't hope to get anywhere near with three tanning injections. No, but, but also the, the, um, all these steps, also having uh, black curly hairs and uh, going to change also my nose to really um, African version also more wider here and, and, so, the and also have we both yeah and also have blood implants like also i like the curves of black women and i want to um get them step by step Okay, so this weird one goes by the name of Martina Big and she started off wanting to be like this Baywatch girl then she just ended up just wanting to be black and honestly I know it seems like from one extreme to another but that's how it starts that's how it starts she's just one of the only people to really say it like listen I admire black women I think they're beautiful and I want to be black so this is what I'm doing to make myself black She's the only one to admit it. I mean, they all do it, but she's admitted it. And she's addicted to it at this point. So let's read some of these comments. Someone said mental illness. Someone said first poser I've seen that admits she really wants to be black. Someone said, I remember this episode. Phil and Holly were not having it. Claire said that. That's my boo. Someone said she's been doing this for a minute now. Poor lady. Someone said my ear is hurting. Somebody said, this bitch, I can't stand her. Someone said, girl, this is just too much for my little soul. I said, bless your heart, girl, because let, let me tell you, you got to send some blessings to people after they watch these things. I want to write a paragraph so bad, but I'm going to leave it alone. Whew, chale, cha. The gentleman speaking to her is giving me life. Martina, LOL. Her husband is doing injections as well. She wants dark skin, curly hair, and a big butt. Shaking my head, these people are insane. Someone said, look at the lady staring at her like, WTF? 
Someone said, but let's talk about the doctors and surgeons allowed to even sell those shots to people. Nobody wants to sue or even talk about it. It's a shame how melanin is literally being sold. Thank you, Ilaho, for even covering the news that no one wants to confront. You're welcome. You're welcome. Someone said, welcome to 2018, where we have to convince people to stick to their race. Girl. <laughs> Someone said, wow, I'm mortified. <laughs> oh my God. Someone said, I remember watching a short story on her transformation. She must have a mental illness because she really, really, really wants to be a black woman inside and out. Someone else said, it's not a mental illness. It's a black fetish. Also, Europeans have seen black folks before African and European cultures have centuries of intermingling and said, imagine if slash when she has kids. Oh my God, the confusion. Someone said, like we said in Nigeria, now wow. <laughs> God forbid bad team. <laughs> Someone said, she is madness. Stick her in a bin. Someone said, I saw her on Maury. So many people bashed her for trying to mock our culture. She was on a Maury show? This girl is clout chasing. Someone said, Africa is not a country where you can get folks to defend the whole border. And then they gave me the side eye. I'm pretty sure I'm aware of that. Like, ugh, girl, I teach this stuff. Stop it. Someone said, she already been there. She got videos on YouTube. Oh, no. Um, so now let's go to the tube. The YouTube video, White Influencers and Blackface, Colorism, Are, bi are Biracial Women Black. Um... You got 524,000 views, um, 22,000 thumbs ups, and 5.3 thousand thumb downs. Game. And 11,000 comments. So we're going to read some of these comments. They got me in the system. Why you gotta do me like that? This is not blackface. This is fetishizing, which is just as bad, but different. Blackface is mocking in a negative light. Fetish is copying due to wanting to be that particular race or culture. That is not one's culture of origin. <laughs> like what? Someone said, legit, this is exactly what that is. It's trending because this stuff is all over porn sites. <laughs> and Kim K making it popular for women to want to be that like her sister Kylie. Definitely a huge problem right now. Someone else said, you missed the point of this video. A lot of people missed the point. Thank you. Someone else said, to be honest, you guys in the U.S. overthink everything too much. She came for the country. She came for the red, white, and blue. Pew, 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 pew. Someone said she followed someone because they were black. Wow. Because of race is why you follow someone. Wow. Hmm. No. And someone commented and said, there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you. Especially because she is black. Is that really that hard to understand? Someone said you're really mad because she chooses to follow people who look like her and share her experiences. Woo, chale. Someone else said yes, she did because she wanted to see an influencer that actually inspires or represents her. Someone she can relate to and someone that can give her tips when it comes to navigating the beauty industry as a black woman. Why are you offended? I don't even got to speak. And hey, my sisters have, have spoken for me. In a lot of these scenarios, I don't have to speak now. You speak for me. You feel my, my heart. You know my mind. You know. Thank you, my sisters. Thank you, my brothers. Eh, no. I don't even have to respond to that because everybody basically said what I was trying to say. Someone said black people aren't the only people with dark skin, bud. Never said that, bud. Like, <laughs> someone said, yes, I hate when people discredit people who are biracial. Black people can come out in all shades, biracial or not. It's a fact. All women are beautiful, whether you want, whether you be, honestly, the typos. <laughs> all women are beautiful, whether you be black, white, tan, or purple. Everyone is amazingly beautiful in their own way. You're too sensitive, damn. Okay, some points you're making make fair enough all right okay some points you're making fair enough some people go too far but really come on amy have several seats have several seats amy um 
and people went on the drag code so i didn't have to say nothing either someone commented what i someone quoted what i said you want me to change myself to be you so that you can be me scary but it's real Someone said, as a biracial girl, I've always been too white for the black kids or too black for the white kids. It's such an everlasting struggle. Hmm. Someone said, at white people, we can do better. Listen to those around you and take a step back to reflect. Let me read that again. <laughs> at white people, we can do better. Listen to those around you and take a step back to reflect. Someone said, in the more recent ones, people are pretending to be Asian said I've been black fished <laughs> that's what I said in the video I've been black fished someone said hi I'm a very pale white blonde European girl many of the girls you use in this video I do consider them to be modern day blackface as you put it this is raw I love that we need to educate each other for real yeah why y'all didn't tell me these were sticking up like that like honestly my phone is on like 8% <laughs> so let me read something nice i want to end on a good note someone said girl you are spreading the truth thank you for this message and pot of and powerful movement girls like me who are naturally dark skinned naturally kinky hair will now find that because others want to be like us so much we should then appreciate what we have that's a young girl teenager i get so many beautiful long messages people saying thank you honestly thank you hey, thank you to everyone who does show me love and who does encourage me on a daily basis shout out to melissa melissa has been one of my day one subscribers and she sends me the most timely and the most heartfelt beautiful messages like i read you guys' messages when you send me a snap i read everything that i get on snap i may not respond to everything but i do read everything i even wrote on my social media platform that i wish others um other influencers would use their platform to speak about this but at the end of the day i can't i can't make people feel as passionately about something as i do you know what i mean and thank god that my i do consider myself a small youtuber or a smaller blogger but thank god that my voice rang loud enough that now larger media outlets are now speaking up against this shout out to lonnie from the real like girl um hello said everything that i've been saying everything that i've been dragged for for the past three weeks i would say i was not the very first person on earth to call someone out about this but i do believe i played a large part in it being now on the media now on the news i want to thank everyone who spoke out about this because it takes all of us every single one of us small platforms large platforms it takes everyone to bring an issue to light and say listen this cannot continue if you do it we're gonna call you out for it because it's not okay so it's everyone it's a collective when one wins we all win when one learns we all won we all learn each one teach one y'all know the y'all know the y'all know the mottos thank you for listening to this video if you like me subscribe to my channel if you don't like subscribe anyway like i don't know why you wouldn't like though but subscribe to my channel i'm cute i'm smart i'm a real black girl like what's up what's good until next time i am iloho bye bye hey put that back down bye bye Black girl loyal, black girl beautiful, black girl everything Black girl energy, black girl attitude, she got attitude, you know that her attitude Tall short, thick, slim black girl, light skin, dark skin black girl Chocolate, chocolate black girl, black girl, black girl, black girl Black girl low classy, black girl low ratchet Black girl fantastic, black girl got the magic Purple